Hi! <laughs> Hello, ladies, gents, and thousand-year-old turtle men. Welcome to Cosmic Pebble, which can be very easily summarized as a Celeste-like. It is a platformer, platformer with an emphasis on speedrunning. Let's do the parching peak, which I completed, but did not get all the cookies, which is this game's strawberries. Let's go to the start. And I do want to do a level that I've already done. And that way it is not a complete shit show of me trying to figure out the mechanics of the level. It is just me playing the video game with a modicum of competence. I'm not going to pretend like it's going to be perfect. In fact, it is pretty, pretty freaking sad what you're witnessing right now on the screen. Oh, baby. Did you just witness that? That is the video game. I, I really enjoy this kind of speedrunner kind of uh, experience. Ow. It is really up my alley. Oh, that was a mistake. And I feel bad for exposing you. Oh, that's the freaking uh, platform that is almost invisible. Anyway, speedrunner with a shooting mechanic that allows you to create a lot more puzzle flexibility you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying it's it allows you to really give your video game a lot of variety with how you create puzzles as opposed to like Celeste would you know introduce new mechanics and all that stuff but they will have to be based on uh, navigation and all that stuff. I need to elaborate this point. It's like, it is so easily witnessed on screen what I'm talking about. I don't know why I try to belabor a point that is very easily apparent. I don't know why I'm this incompetent either. Because I actually already did all this. As you may notice, the, there we go. The, co the cookies already grayed out. I had already accomplished that. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. What am I supposed to Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Shoot the bell behind you. You have to think outside the death gauntlet. Go over here, go over there. And this is like the collectathon aspect of it. it you can split the experience in, two, in three. One, obviously, just beat the game. Two, collect all the cookies three time attack see if you can beat your own time uh -huh. you can do i don't know if it actually matters to do the like the spelunky jetpack thing where you don't press it all the time here's what i am failing i need to do one of these aha uh -huh. i need to Hang on to the wall, jump over there, give myself a lot. Oh, <laughs> the cookie has been collected. But anyway, that is something that I have already collected. Let's forget about the cookies. We're just going to go forward. Ooh, that was a mistake. I think I can simply just propel myself up. There you go, use the double jump. Cosmic Pebble, uh, one developer effort. I'm always super excited when I get an email saying, I'm the lone developer of this video game, check it out. And sometimes I check it out, I was like, no, no, you, you need a little bit more baking time in the oven, buddy. But most often I'm like, this is amazing, this is so impressive. This is incredible work that you have done. And Cosmic Pebble, like you look at the promotional materials I like, it doesn't doesn't look that appealing, but you get behind the controls and it's like this is actually freaking great. Oops. This is actually an excellent <clears throat> platform. It, it controls good, it feels good. The restarts are done very, very well to make you come back immediately. Zero downtime. That is very important when you're creating a many, many, many times over dying kind of experience. Uh, I shoot that, and I shoot up. Use my incredible jetpack. Each level has introduced new mechanics so far. 
the main difference. Ooh. Well, that doesn't work, does it? <laughs> the main difference would be between a you know your standard platformer and this would be the shooting mechanic. <laughs> oh, yeah. It opens up so many possibilities. But other than that, it's just very well designed. Vi uh, not videos, uh, but levels. It is just a pleasure to get through these levels. Speed run them. Oh, 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 oh! Mistakes were made. <laughs> I was supposed to hit the button and then go back up. Oopla! Hit that. Oh, oh, yeah! There is a landing spot right here. Uh, sure. Uh, what am I supposed to do? You shoot that, and then you shoot that, and then you be shot. Sure. Get rocket propelled. Don't want to belabor the point. I think I also appreciate it when a video game is like extremely. Oh, I'm supposed to go up. That was a mistake. Extremely apparent what the game is about. I don't have to go into a 30 minute tutorial on what the game please re reappear thank you what the game is supposed to be it's like yeah you get through the levels you try to do it fast you figure out the little puzzles mostly it's a problem of execution oh let me use the propellant propellant oh yeah oh man I almost killed myself look up a food uh, oh, 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 it reappears quickly. You see, I already did this, but only once, so I, I forgot it entirely. Does it reappear? Yeah, it does. Excellent. I guess I am not going to die if I come all the way down here. We shall drop when we carry on. Uh, this level, like, certainly, the game has been upping the ante quite dramatically. Every time. Ooh, made it. Uh, every new level is like a, a significant difference with the last. It is not like more of the same. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, it's not more of the same. I think I can reach that easily if I use the... This little spot. To double jump. There you go. Wall jump. Oh, I thought that I had my second... What? What just happened? Whoop. It put me all the way back there, huh? I don't appreciate that. Oh, you! It doesn't reach. <laughs> oh, well, you can actually. Uh, it is part of the video game. The fact that when you throw the boomerang, oh, when you throw the boomerang, it keeps you aloft a little bit. Something like that. It will give you a little bit of extra air time. All right, all right. Oopla. All right, well done. Pat myself in the back. Absolutely awesome. Um, so it starts extremely simple, as these games often do. But by level three, you're like, man, this is a, this is quite the mechanical. Oh, there's that's a kill platform, huh? This is quite the impressive pile of mechanics that you got going into this video game. And at least so far, every level has made a significant difference. Does that platform reappear to erase my mistake? I don't think it's going to reappear. Can I just go up here? I can. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Check me out. My freaking jetpack. Ow. Um, in total, there are 10 levels, unless there is a secret level at some point. This is level 4, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. I think it's level 4. And uh, I cannot tell you what the other levels more advanced entail because I haven't gone there. Oh, was this really all for a freaking cookie? I'm not sure. Maybe that's just simply in the way. Hopefully, hopefully this is the way to the end because I have no memory of going through this, even though I did it literally yesterday. Oh, oh, oh boy, these Celeste type obstacles. They were my absolute most dreadful foe in Celeste. OK, 
can't believe you have included them here. I, uh, I'm a little salty, honestly, that that was all for a cookie. I think I need to go this way and then die. Man, this is some serious <laughs> bullshit platform, but you know, it just gets, like I said, it gets more and more complex. These gauntlets are really not trivial. This is only level four. There's still six more to go. You made it. Oh, I could have boomeranged. I always forget that you can boomerang to get that little bit of extra air time. It is super good. Oh. Oh, oh I gotta shoot. Overshot that. I get a little distracted with aiming and shooting and platforming. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had in the back of my head that, hey, you need to boomerang, so I ha I did it regardless of how completely needless it was by that point. All right, there you go. There you go. It's all so I can reach this spot. I hit that freaking platform. I guess now I can go down here? Or is that the way I came? I just don't remember any... Ah, I opened this little passageway right there. All right, all right. Moving on with my life. Okay. So it's not like a super long, I will say definitely not as long as Celeste, which I, I know I keep comparing to Celeste, but it feels so similar. And obviously Celeste is super high profile. The platforming, it feels really good. It feels, I, I don't know if I would say, man, it's just as good as the incredible Celeste platforming. It is right up there. I am very impressed with the developers, the lone developer's ability to get some really nice, responsive, I'm supposed to shoot that bell, uh, platforming controls. It is not trivial to create a platforming that feels good. Can I maybe salvage this, please? Come back, bell, come back! Oh! <laughs> Maybe if I boomerang. Nah, this is just, just die. Just restart. Oh, come on, all the way back here. This is just not legal. Oh, I forget every time that I need to hit that bell. It was supposed to be a really short, you really short video. It's like, I already beat this level. How hard can it be? This, this level was pretty, uh, pretty challenging. Not even. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, your shit. <laughs> oh, man. This is, uh, this is some nasty nonsense. Yep. All right, all right. Don't make me into a crispy kebab. I don't appreciate. Oh, come on. Should have picked level three instead of level four. This is too much for me to endure. I think I still had the double jump there. Actually. Don't quote me on that. Actually, I don't think I do have the double jump. I just need to be better at the video game. Let me get a higher. There you are. Hey. Oh, don't touch a thing. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> oh, man. It's uh, quite a challenge. Quite a challenge. This was the part that gave me the most trouble yesterday when I was beating it. And after I beat it, I fire up the video game again. All right, all right. Jetpack action, incredible. Don't destroy me. Oh, no, don't do it. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> I, hate them. I hate those oscillating projectiles. They're my nemesis. All right, we go down, I suppose. Is there anything? Is there lava chasing me? Something funky about this planet is like a, uh, there was a giant level of lava pulling up where did it go where did the lava go am i higher than lava i don't know maybe i left it behind anyway that that is super pathetic time i wasn't even trying okay i wasn't even trying to speed run something that annoys me annoys me to no end let me go back to the hub uh can we see the level select there you go go back i have tried me me oh where's it oh there it is there's the there's the times. I have tried so hard to go under 44 seconds. 
how do you do this is the developer and then i assume the closed beta kind of people uh how do you 26 uh, let's do a one minute run you'll see how do you do 26 minutes i even asked the developer how the hell do you get this time how you do it i mean maybe not please restart that uh maybe not fall like an idiot but how do you get 26 seconds in this level take a uh, close notice of what the level looks like it's like where the hell well that, obviously you don't fall there uh, where the hell do you save yourself 20 whole seconds obviously there is some kind of shortcut that i am just incapable to find i have really scoured these levels but clearly not hard enough this is the one and only shortcut I've found. It shaves you maybe maybe five seconds. But clearly there is some other way to reach the end of this nonsense literally 20 seconds earlier. And I could not tell you. I have no idea how. And it seems like every level will have something like that. Let me go back to the hub. We can go to level select. Because then you go and see the times. My time. This was a try hard time. 1 minute 09. There is some kind of incredible shortcut. I have no idea where it's at. Same thing with the Verdant Valley. How do you do this in one minute? You go through this level, it's like, this is impossible to do in one minute. But clearly there's some kind of mechanic. And indeed he, he uh, uh, specified it in the email. In, in, he didn't specify. He told me, oh yeah, yeah, there is something. But I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. And to finish it up, I'll tell you, there is a Celeste-like story. You are an astronaut that visits the weird expedition, like, find, finding out what happened. You encounter the survivors. They have become into animal people. It is very bizarre. Uh, it, it's a cute little story. I like it. And then, to finish it all up, there are a pile of unlockables. These are all cosmetics. The cookies that you find, you get yourself different projectiles. That's neat. I like it. Uh, then if you complete the challenges for the, for the levels, you get different outfits. So, you know, it's a nice little addition, give you a little bit of an incentive to improve your times, do things in the levels outside of just beating them. I really like inclusions like this. It gives me a reason to really engage with the design of the level and explore all the corners that the developer put in there as opposed to just going forward once beating it and uh, saying that I am done. So I really like it. I really like it when video games do this. Very big hit as, in, as opposed to a miss. So that's it. That's Cosmic Pebble. Check it out. Very good video game. If you are a platformer fan, you will not be disappointed. I give you my Blargo stamp of approval, just like I did with a nominal. This is one of those obscure games that is like, they really should get a lot more attention because it's an excellent experience. Check it out for yourself.